99% of the process of structuring an essay is exactly the same as you learned in secondary school. You might think you're too good for point, evidence, explain. You're not, especially if you think you are. Let's start at the very beginning with introductions. Start your intro with the central claim of your essay. If I'm reading it, I want to know within literally five seconds what you're trying to convince me of. Next, think about what you need to prove in order to make that claim. What might the immediate negative reaction of someone reading your central claim be? How can you defend yourself against that response? Ideally, you want to be able to split your burdens of proof, the things you need to prove in order for your argument to be true, into a few different points. These will be your paragraphs. From here, write down what you're going to argue, and in what order. It is genuinely fine, good in fact, to say, first I will prove X, next I will go on to show that Y. Finally, drawing on blogs, 1999, I will argue that Z. The final part of your introduction should tell me what conclusions you're going to draw, or at the very least say, I conclude by examining the implications of my argument for theory or author or other argument. That is to say, if you've been taught that your essay should unravel as you go, and I shouldn't understand your whole argument until the very end, then you've been taught wrong. Don't do that. I should know exactly what you're going to argue by the time I finished your introduction. This isn't an Agatha Christie novel, it's an argument. Save the twists and turns. When thinking about your argument in the introduction, consider the tips I've given in other videos regarding questioning the question and defining terms. You can either do this within the confines of the introduction, or you can say something to the effect of, first, I will define what it would mean to be able to solve the problem of demarcation, querying the definitions of these terms, and showing how their intrinsic ambiguities may create difficulties in argument. Moving on now to the body of the essay. P on it. It sounds infantile. It is infantile. Do it anyway. So first, the point. What are you claiming? This is also known as the topic sentence. At the end of the first sentence of each paragraph, I should know what to expect from that paragraph. Don't tantalise the examiner. It's an essay, not a terrible surprise birthday party. Second, evidence. Who has said this thing before you said it? How are you corroborating the point you're trying to make? Please don't say, I just thought of it. Find someone who said it before. Are there statistics which back up your argument? If so, where are they from? If there's more than one piece of evidence, all the better. Third, explain. Why does the evidence you presented prove the point you're trying to make? I'll go into this part of arguing more in the next video. One final thing here. In most essays, there should be a development of thought from one paragraph to the next. In some instances, your arguments may genuinely be discrete units, but in most instances, they should flow in some way. Try and play around with your structure such that your body paragraphs are in the order that best allows the essay to feel fluent and smooth. Finally, conclusions. Don't put new things in your conclusion. It's not big and it's not clever. We're not just saying this for the lols. If you're adding your arguments to your conclusion, it's not a conclusion. What you should do is first, recapitulate your argument. Readers are stupid and have terrible memories. What did you prove in your essay? How did you prove it? This is like doing your introduction all over again, but with slightly nicer words. Second, synthesize your claims. What are the implications of what you proved? Do the strands of your argument come together to prove that Immanuel Kant was full of nonsense when he wrote the Critique of Pure Reason? Do they leave the field open for a new line of inquiry into the semiotics of phallic imagery in male-female initiation messages on contemporary dating applications? Why should we care about the things you've written? Repeat your central claim. Tell me why you've proven it. Synthesis often involves thinking about the state of your field, or of a society at that moment, and trying to show how your argument might apply or be useful elsewhere. It means bringing together all of the things you've proved to make more far-reaching points. But don't overreach. This isn't going to change the face of your subject forever. You look silly when you say that. So to summarise, tell me everything you're going to say in your introduction. Structure your points like you're in primary school. Don't bring new material into the conclusion.